Hi, it's Andy here. I thought rather than write a long email, I'd just do a quick video and send it off to you. The, uh, the background I have here is quite popular. This is the background in my tent. I'm sitting in my tent right now, and I'm looking out the door, and that's a view of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Um, that's uh, Entry Island. I'm in uh, Italy, Madeleine. Capo Mule at the moment, gross cap. Um, I'm, I'm camping here. I've been uh, I've been here the last couple of days, and I just spent a month over the bottom of the Gas Bay, camping there. I started there uh, May 1st. So hey, right to the point though. My intention is to come and work for the race series for the entire race series. Um, so from the beginning then, I'll, I'll go check and I, I don't know if that's what I have, but that's what I'll do. Um, so uh, hey, what have I been up to? I just want to give you uh, why I'm able to do that. This, this past winter, and, and I'll just kind of work backwards. I, right now I'm camping in Ile Madeleine. So I got here July, uh, May 31st. I was uh, one month in Pointe Alacroix. And uh, three summers ago I started going on tours after the ski season. Um, first year I went to uh, started camping June 1st and did the northern states uh, all across the top of the U.S. and then spent about a month in New Brunswick. and. Uh, and then I went to PEI for a while, and then I came over here to the Isle of Madeleine. Isle of Madeleine is, uh, it's in the middle of the Atlantic. It's halfway between Prince Edward Island and uh, Newfoundland. So it's a five-hour ferry ride, and it's an archipelago, uh, 70 kilometers long. In some places, it's only 50 meters wide. I just rode around the island for my bike ride. I rode around this island, the main island, and uh, the perimeter took me an hour and 10 minutes. So it's not that big. <laughs> it's not that big. After this, I'm going to head back to, uh, I've had both my shots, so I'm fully vaccinated and I'm going to head back to um, uh, probably to Prince Edward Island if they let me in, otherwise New Brunswick or back to the Gas Bay and I'll, I'll hang out here and, and get back to Ottawa for, um, for the 1st of December, which is what I did last year. It, from December 1st last year until, uh, so last year I did the same thing, except I couldn't get out of, I couldn't get away from Mont Saint Marie until August 1st and um, I couldn't get out of the Gas Bay. So I decided I would spend the whole summer in the Gas Bay to study French. So I did fr French immersion for, uh, for four months and came home uh, fully bilingual. Yeah, uh, people were quite surprised, <laughs> quite surprised. Anyway, because at Mont Saint Marie in the wintertime, I live right at the side of the hill. It's a very close-knit race community there. They were the club of the year, uh, Alpine Canada, and also they won the top peak award. So. There I work for the mountain. I'm in charge of on hill public relations, which means I ski around and look good and talk to people. And uh, and I spent uh, every day on the hill for about 100 days straight. Uh, I also carry a shovel in my drill the whole time because I do repairs on the hill. I show the groomers where to move the snow around. I ride with them at night if I have to. They weren't allowed to teach me how to drive the groomer this year because of the uh, of COVID-19. Uh, restrictions on training. Anyway, so I work with the race club there. I just have an awful lot of B-Net because there was no racing, still training. So the B-Net goes up and of course there's no chief of course going from week to week to week. So it's just me to look after things. So I'm, uh, I'm in great health. I haven't had a drink in uh, two years now and, um, and don't intend to have one for quite a while, if ever. So, um, so I hope to be out at Lake Louise this year and stay for the NORAMs and then work my way back to Ottawa. Mont Saint Marie is getting so popular, I may not be able to find a place to stay. I've been staying for the last two years at the side of the hill, and um, I may not be able to do that. And if that, I, you know, I may be forced to stay. Oh, if I can get a job out west, I might, I might stay out there for the winter. Anyway, so that's what I did. I do at Mont Saint Marie. Uh, the year before, when there was racing, uh, I didn't go to Lake Louise. Uh, I went to Killington instead. Then I did fist races, uh, the fist races over the winter time, Tremblant, uh, Val St. Combe, uh, Mont Garceau, Bromont, mostly to visit, visit with the TDs that were going to be there. So Jermaine Barrett was at Tremblant, uh, Todd McNutt was at Bromont, and uh, Elise Ferguson was at Val Duran, uh, no, uh, Val St. Combe and uh, Brian was at Mont Garceau. Then I did a speed week uh, working with Henrik and the guys in uh, Crab Mountain in New Brunswick for uh, U16s. And then I, my la I had an assignment to do the university championships at, at Stoneham and I was on my way there and uh, my assignment was canceled because of COVID and that was the end of, of that. And I went back to Mont Saint Marie and I've stayed there ever since. So so I've been really busy, I've been really healthy. 
I'm the uh, best shape I've been in for a long time. I ride every day. And uh, so I ski, I skied every day in the wintertime. I ride every day now. And, um, and as I say, I've had both my vaccinations. So I'm really looking forward to coming out west and working this year. And, um, and uh, oh, and <laughs> yeah, so I'm at, I, and uh, I've taken a course on respect and sport, the online course, which is a requirement if you're going to volunteer in uh, New Brunswick. And also because I'm fully certified as a coach again, uh, I have gone through all the updates, including the uh, safe sport modules and all of the uh, training that goes with with um, with being a coach. I also did a lot of work last year getting candidates ready to write their, their TD exams. And then the officials update, I had three case studies to present. We had 250 people on a Zoom call. It's probably the most successful uh, officials update that's ever been in the country. And I did I did half of it from, from here. <laughs> anyway, that was exciting. Anyway, a, I hope you guys are well. And I'm really looking forward to coming out and working on the races. Uh, send me an email. I'll send you the link to this. And there, oh, the other videos, I, my, my daily ski reports, they're on my, on my YouTube channel too. You might be interested in watching some of those. Anyway, have a really good day.